pregnant Kate takes on William at hockey during Royal's visit to Chile Stockholm. The Duke and Duchess of Cambridge got competitive on a bandy hockey rink today on their first engagement of a tour to Sweden and Norway. Wrapped up in thick coats, bobble hats and snow boots, William and Kate were each handed a stick and ball and invited to take three shots at all from a red carpet that had been hilariously rolled out onto the ice. William stepped up first and scored with two of his attempts. Kate, who was a formidable field hockey player at school, had a better stance but was on target just once. The couple, who this morning embarked on a four-day official tour of Sweden and Norway, starting in Stockholm, were at an outdoor rink in the capital for an introduction to the popular local sport. Pregnant Kate kept the cold at bay in temperatures of minus one degree Celsius, wrapping up in a Burberry sheet of a coat team with skinny jeans and sorrel snow boots, while she and William both donned bobble hats to keep their ears warm. Ever the diplomatic dresser, the Duchess wore a burgundy jumper by popular Swedish brand Fjell Robin. Before the game, Kate and William drank an alcohol-free tipple from a flask brought in a bandy portfolio, or bandy briefcase, a traditional office-style briefcase that usually contains a flask of mild wine or coffee laced with alcohol. The drink in the flask is normally called Gluga Glowway I type drink, and a whiting, 29. An international bandy player talked the couple through what they needed to do before the shootout. She says, Kate had played field hockey and I was expecting her to be good, and she was very good. She knew how to hold the stick and she had a very good swing. I was impressed. She agreed that William, who wielded his stick with confidence, had a strong shot. I could see that maybe they liked to beat each other, she adds. Also they were pushing each other to do well. The halfback who laid on the winning shot for Sweden in the victorious world championship team, says, It was a privilege for us to show our sport to them. We have been to China to show the sport and to come back here and show it to the royals from Britain is an honor. After their moment on the ice, accessed by a red car patrolled out across the mini rink, the couple shared some hot chocolate with a group of school children, aged 5 to 11 who had been playing earlier. The royal couple were then given a selection of bandy hockey jerseys as presents for George and Charlotte. Bandy hockey is actually believed to have originated in defense of East Anglia in the late 1800s. Indeed the first international match is said to have been played between Barry Fenn Band Club and Harlem's Hockey and Bandy Club from the Netherlands in 1891, but is now one of the most popular winter sports in the Scandinavian region. It is very similar to traditional ice hockey but players use a ball instead of a buck. The couple stood on the sidelines as two teams of early players demonstrated the fast-paced sport. William and Kate arrived in the Swedish capital on a private jet last night for a four-day official tour of Scandinavia, leaving London after picking up their children, Prince George and Princess Charlotte, from school and nursery. They are accompanied by 13 strong entourage, plus security, including Kate's hairdresser, Amanda Cook Tucker, who caused a minor furor yesterday when she published a photograph of the Duchess's hair products on social media. The party also includes two private secretaries, four press officers, their senior advisor Sir David Manning, William's equerry, one orderly, a PA, a program coordination and a term manager. The trip is being carried out at the request of the Foreign and Commonwealth Office as part of a pre-Brexit charm offensive. They have a busy program planned, 22 engagements in all, although the schedule has been slightly amended to take account of Kate's advancing pregnancy. Although she still only displays a modest baby bump, her third child is due in April. In Oslo on Thursday William will now undertake two engagements on his own while Kate returns to their residence to prepare for a black tie dinner at the Norwegian Royal Palace, hosted by King Harold, attended by government minister, business leaders and high-profile figures from the creative industries. A Kensington Palace spokesman said, With three late nights there will be a slight adjustment to the pace of the program. Today the royal couple will enjoy lunch with the King and Queen of Sweden in the Royal Palace of Stockholm. Then, accompanied by the popular Crown Princess Victoria and Crown Prince Daniel, enjoy a walk through the picturesque cobbled streets of the capital city to the nearby Nobel Museum. It will give him the chance to meet members of the Swedish public who have gathered in Storatorget, the oldest square in Stockholm. Inside the museum, the Duke and Duchess will meet a number of Nobel laureates and hear more from the museum's curator about science in Sweden and the Nobel laureate system. There will be another afternoon event to celebrate Swedish design, including iconic global flat pack furniture brand IKEA, with a particular emphasis on sustainable furnishings. Their final event of a busy first day will be dinner at the residence of the British ambassador, where they are staying for the duration of their trip to Stockholm, attended by members of the Swedish royal family, government and popular culture. Tomorrow William and Kate will spend a second full day in Sweden, before flying on to Norway for two days on Thursday. In Oslo they will stay at the royal palace and undertake several engagements accompanied by the heir to the throne, Crown Prince Hakon and Crown Prince Metamorit. A spokesman for William and Kate said they were very much looking forward to spending time with, and getting to know, the royal couples.